Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Tash Talks live show. We are in fact on episode 27, like, oh my goodness. Actually, let me just bring that a little bit closer. Perfecto. We are on episode 27, guys. I mean, hello. <laughs> this is just freaking epic. So I just kind of want to clarify this. This is very different to my podcast, even though they're called the Tash Talk podcast, the Tash Talk live show. I mean, it's pretty straightforward how different it is. We've got a live show and we've got a podcast. And the reason why I didn't want to just take the content from here and put it into the podcast is I want them to be two different energies. I want them to be two different ways that you can consume, soak up my energy, my vibe, my content, basically. I mean, I know so many of you love a video, um, as do I, but I also love a podcast. There's something about when I go out on my walks, there's something about when I'm driving my car, when I'm just able to just put you in my ears, whoever the podcast host is, and just listen, right? I just There's just something about that. Also, one thing that I love about podcasts, and this is why I use them in my program. So I have a private feed for a conscious coach. Why? Because there's nothing more annoying. I don't know about you, but there's nothing more annoying when you're watching a video, you come off it because something happens and then you go back to the video and it starts again. You cannot remember where you were up to in the video. Like it's so annoying. These for podcast, literally you come off it, it stays where it is. Then you go back on it and bing, it opens up exactly where you left it off from. So I just love that. It's just a different, it's just a different vibe, isn't it? And I am really loving doing the podcast. Like I didn't realize I'd love it so much. I think I would have started it a lot sooner if that had been the case. And now isn't fear just a really funky thing? Because now I look back and I think, it took me so long. What the hell were you so freaking scared of? Like seriously, Tash, like what were you scared of? But we move, we learn. And this is, this is the job of our subconscious mind to keep us safe. And that's exactly what it was doing. It was the unknown. It was the what happened if. It was the fear of judgment. It was the fear of getting it wrong. It was the fear of it flopping. Like all of these natural fears that we have as entrepreneurs. So I let that hold me back for so long. And then, then I literally came out of the gates and I came out of the gates and I was like, let's freaking roll. So what's going on behind the scenes? Well, behind the scenes is this, a lot of packing, right? And I don't love packing. I don't, I don't know anybody. I mean, I do not actually you know people that enjoy packing. I don't know why. I just find it such a task. And I, I feel like I've mastered it now. But obviously, I pack my own. I pack Santiago's. And um, I help Michael pack his. That's just what I do. It's, it's really interesting because I love catering for people. I love looking after them. Of course, Santiago's two and a half. <laughs> but I love to do that. I just find it such, I find it easier packing other people's than my own. I think it's my own where I've got to make such big decisions. Do I want this? I overpack. Do I need this? Do I not? All of those things. Anyway, so there's been a lot of packing. There's more packing put in today's schedule. That is for sure. I've been busy uh, recording some podcast episodes because we go away next week, which I'm really, really excited about us as a big family. So that's going to be absolutely amazing. And really busy launching Conscious Coach because that starts mid-September for our fourth round of Conscious Coach. And last night I done, um, I had a call with one of my clients that were in the last round of Conscious Coach. And what's incredible, she reached up to me. She was like, I'd love to do a testimonial for you. And I'm like, oh my goodness, absolutely. Because I know I've been through programs that have been absolutely amazing. And then I've forgotten, or the coach has forgotten to, to contact me for a, a testimonial and I've forgotten. So I think it's just so incredible when your clients reach out to you and go, I just had such a great experience. Like, can I do it? And I'm like, yeah, of course we can jump on for sure. And it was just incredible. And I'm gonna be sharing snippets of it. So watch out for my social media. But what's, what's so incredible about this program is it's always from what everybody says it's always so much more than what they even think or anticipate what can come and that's what I'm really excited about sharing and I think my my task my job is to teach you of how important it is to master the subconscious mind because whatever level you are in business you know let's say you're hitting your you know three four five k cash per month which is incredible and you want to scale that to get to the 10k plus months cash it's going to take the subconscious work. What got you to that level isn't what's going to get you to that next level. Trust. Trust me when I say that, okay? And you'll hear that so much in the entrepreneurship and it's because it's true. And it, and it doesn't take, it's not like it's, 
are there tweaks in strategy? Yes, there is. But it's not like it's you've got to completely change your whole strategy, right? I'd have to have a look at it. But the majority of the time, you don't have to. There's a lot of tweaks, there's changes, because you, you're looking to scale. You're looking to go from one-on-one -on -one to like one-to-many kind of thing. Um, so it's not so much the strategy, but what it is, is the subconscious beliefs, because they are always going to, excuse my French, you up always that all it's always going to come up and which led me on to today's topic which is what I want to kind of go through is it's not working how many times have you heard yourself say that it's not working be honest with yourself our mind is always going to look for evidence always that's what it's that's what it was made to do it was to look for evidence your subconscious mind, as you know, runs 95% of the show. I always use this analogy. It's the Beyonce of the girl band, okay? There's no point, however good intentions Michelle has got to want to be the front girl, Beyonce's the front girl. So what, like what's going on in your mind, conscious brain gets it logically, gets it going, yeah, I can do this. Let me do my affirmations. I can make this work. That person has done it. Whereas your subconscious mind is running on programs. That's what it's running on. It's running on programs that were conditioned into your mind from the ages of naught to seven. Your beliefs that you have right now are just a form, a, a collective of thoughts that you have thought for so long that you have then conditioned into a belief. So you truly believe, think about you believe, you believe there was a Father Christmas. You believed there was a tooth fairy. You believe that carrots made you grow, uh, sorry, made you see in the dark, right? We know this, okay? I remember my mom used to say, you know, eat this and your hair would grow. And I wanted my hair to grow because at the time I had really long hair. My mom would cut it to a bob because it was quite thin to thicken it up. And she would say to me, I think it was broccoli, eat the broccoli and your hair will grow. Well, I was eating it by the truckloads, right? I was, a, I must've been about five, six. So of course I was conditioned. All these thoughts that I had around my head that my mom was telling me that broccoli is going to... And I'm sure I'll probably say the same things to Santiago to make him eat. I mean, he's pretty good with his fruit and veg. But if, it, if I had to, mother's got to do what a mother's got to do, right? <laughs> so, if, and that's just about Father Christmas and the tooth fairy and, you know, eating vegetables. But if we actually go a bit deeper into your thoughts and your beliefs, they are creating the results you're living in right now. The reality that you see around you right now, in wherever you are, is the, is due to the result of the way you are thinking, your thoughts, which equal your behaviors, which equals your actions, which equal the results that you get. It's, it, it's as simple as that. It's simple, it doesn't mean it's easy. It doesn't mean it doesn't take the work. And this is why I always say, you know, as soon as you join Conscious Coach, the first video says, this is gonna be uncomfortable. This is a growth journey. It, it, we're gonna go deep. There's gonna be some changes. You've gotta be willing to do that. And that's how my clients get the most incredible results because they're willing to do it. They're willing to get out of their bullshit excuses. They're willing to get out of their conscious mind. They're willing to really tame that subconscious mind because listen, she's your bestie. She wants the best for you, but she doesn't know any better. Okay. It's like me. I want the best for Santiago. He doesn't know that. He doesn't, he thinks mummy's dragging him back from a, a road. He thinks mummy is making him leave a park. So of course he's devastated. He doesn't know any of the best for him, which is it's five o'clock. We need to get home. We need to have dinner, have a bath and get you to bed, right? So it's like the subconscious mind. So when it comes up against change, it goes, ah, ah, ah. It's like, it's like alarms go off in the mind. We go, nah, abort mission, abort mission. No, stay in the comfort zone, stay in the comfort. That's what's going on subconscious. And you're going, no, but I really want the 10, the 15K, the 20K cash mumps. Why is this not happening? This isn't working. And what happens is we, our mind wants to find evidence of how it's not working. So let's say you've got this thought of it's not working. Brain is going to go, yes, because you done that poll yesterday and you only got five votes. Mm, it's not working. You done that post and nobody liked it. You done that post and a hundred people liked it. Mm, it's not working. You'll find it a lot more harder right now to do X, Y, and Z. Mm, it's not working. Oh, look, your team member forgot to do that. Mm, it's not working. The microphone's not working. Oh, it's because the podcast's not working. 
the stats are a little bit like, oh, it's because it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Guess what? You're looking for the evidence everywhere where it's not working, where it's not working. So you're continuing to do that. Now, something I do in Stand Conscious Coach, and I'm going to give a snippet into it, is call you out on your bullshit. Okay. And I'm going to give you a snippet of that right now. So this is tough love. What if I was to say to you, in fact, before I go into that, I just want to say, when something's not working, there's two ways we can look at it. We can look at it as it's not working. Oh, woe me. Go into our pity party because we want to go into our comfort zone, which I would say the majority of people do go into because it's the known and mine likes familiarity. So it's going to go back to the known. Or you can choose to look at it as someone that goes through conscious coach and looks at it through interest, through curiosity. Mm, okay. Let me look at this. What is it about this particular task? Maybe if I was to look at the post, instead of being like, oh, it's not working. See, it's another thing that's not working. Let me just get out the not working list and add it to there. Instead, you could go, okay, let me look at this. Let me look at through this for the eyes of curiosity and interest. Okay, maybe it was the messaging. Maybe it just wasn't landing with my idol client. Maybe if I was to pivot of what I was saying, maybe I just wasn't hitting what she is experiencing right now. Maybe it was, it wasn't the facts. Maybe it was the audio behind the reel. Okay, so I'm looking at it through curiosity of how I can change it, how I can pivot it. How exciting would it feel? My mind's of interest, okay? It's, it's looking for solutions because it's not a statement. It's not working, full exclamation mark. It's, hmm, I wonder what it is about that that wasn't working, question mark. I wonder if it could have been the messaging, question mark. Do you think it was the audio behind it? Can you see? I'm looking at your curiosity, so it has a very different light energy. You can feel it when you're hearing me talk about it. So that's the first thing. And that there may be things. There may be a strategic thing that we need to change and pivot. It may be you're not speaking to your ideal clients. So of course, you're getting people coming into your programs or inquire about your programs or your one-on-one -on -one that can't afford it because maybe you're just not, you're talking to the pain points. So that pain point and person is still there. So they're not seeing the value and what it is that you are offering that's not down to you that's not nothing to do with you stop attaching a meaning to it it's about what how can we look at this which is the post the messaging the um positioning how can we look at that the offering the service like how can we look at that rather than oh my good oh woe me that's the first bit now the second bit to this which may be a hard pill to swallow because i know lots of my clients have found this and i certainly have what if you're saying you want this desire of the 10k cash months okay what if i was to say to you the reason why you keep going back into your comfort zone the reason why you're self-sabotaging whether that's going it's not working finding all the evidence of that whether that you're going back into your old position and talking to your idol client whether it be about you're not actually being consistent with your social media whether it be about your self-doubt is crippling you whatever it may be that's the known for you what if I was to suggest to you that it's actually the known is what you're addicted to? Wow. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. What if it was the known? What if it was that sensation, that feeling, the anxiety, the frustration, the, oh, my fucking God, like this isn't working. What if it's that, the known sensation that mind wants to continue going back to? Because I know it is. It's like why people stay in relationships that they're not happy in. It's not because they don't want more or desire more. It's the known. They would rather be unhappy because they know what to expect. And our subconscious mind likes the known. It likes to, it doesn't like shocks. It doesn't like surprises. Don't forget when it's going into that, it's going into the fright, flight or freeze mode. It doesn't want to do that. It doesn't want to always be on like, that's why we get spikes in our nervous system. That's why we get anxiety. And you can get high function anxiety where you can still do what you're doing, but you have that constant pang of nerves in your stomach. Is that payment going to default? Am I going to lose it all? Am I going to have a high cash month and then a low cash month? Am I going to just completely F this all up? Like we go into that state because it doesn't feel safe. And if the money doesn't feel safe, the success doesn't feel safe, the next level of investing in doesn't feel safe. If hiring a team member or the next team member doesn't feel safe, you will not do it. 
So what we do in Subconscious Coach is create that next level of safety for you. So that, that next level of income, 10K cash months, feel safe. If you can get subconscious mind on board with the safety, this is where it's going to be, this is what it's going to feel like, get the unknown known, that is where we're talking. And they don't call me the subconscious whisperer for nothing. This is what I do is I'm able to bypass the conscious part of your brain and speak to your subconscious. That's running the show. I want to speak to the main man or the main girl. I want to speak to her. I want to shift through all her conditioning, her stuck beliefs, because that's all they are. It's just stuck. We just need to kind of shift it through, clear it through, clear through those. Once we then cleared through those, then we can go on to the next stage, which is actually rewiring and re-sparking new neuro pathways so that subconscious mind i'm speaking in its language so it gets it it understands it's that okay yeah that that's possible that's doing it's not going into that oh my goodness but well, what happens if i fail if i this it completely gets on board with what i'm saying the new commands of what your desires are you want those 10k cash months let me speak to the unconscious mind about it okay the unconscious mind the subconscious i'm always going to interchange in how I, what i call it but they're both the same thing will always do what it's told. That's what it wants to do is do what it's told. Your mind's always going to do what it's told. But it's so used to this, it's kind of like habitual. You don't, you're not even thinking about it. The, the narrative, the stories are just around and around and around. So of course, you're thinking the same things, you've got the same beliefs, you're going to get the same results. So once then you can actually shift the subconscious mind, move it in, give it new commands, and then allow it to step into a new identity. Because where you are right now, who you are, how you think, how you act, isn't what's going to get you to that next level. There's a whole different level of you that's required at that next level. What you know now, the thoughts that you have is incredible. It's got you to where you are in today in business. Well freaking done. That's amazing. But to get you to that next level requires a very different you. And you have to know what that identity is. You've got to know how to step into that in order for you to act and be her. And this is what I always say about um, bridging the energetic gap, okay? Because this isn't about fake it to make it. I don't believe in that. I, like, I just feel like the word fake it has so much resistance towards it. It's, well, that person's fake. It's acting. It's not real. The subconscious mind doesn't want to get on board with that. You have got to help it to understand of and it's the being that's going to get you there and what we have to do is think about our higher self think about the actions that she would take and guess what we have to take those actions before you get there so instead of going okay when i get to my 15k months that's when i'll do this this and this no 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 we need to do the work now in order to shift the subconscious mind for you to step into this new identity which will then bridge that energetic gap for you to get to those money months right so what happens is we get so addicted to the known that stepping outside of that, which is the unknown of, let's just say, 10K cash mums, is scary. It's unsafe. And the subconscious mind doesn't want to do that. So what it will do is it will self-sabotage. It will do anything in its absolute power to be able to keep you from stepping forward and step back. And then we go, oh, see, I knew it wouldn't work. I knew this month wouldn't be my 10K, 15K, 20K cash month. I just knew it. I knew it. I knew that the pod wouldn't do well. I knew the posts wouldn't do well. I knew that I wouldn't get that event where I was the main key speaker. Like I just knew it, right? And then we kind of go back into that and we're like, oh, I'm so fucking frustrated. I'm so annoyed. Like, I just don't know what's going on. Or like what's not working, right? And we stay within that comfort zone because those sensations, however, in your logical part of your brain, your conscious brain knows that it's not where you want to be. It's known. It's familiar. So you're always going to go back to that. Think about when, I remember when I split up with my boyfriend that I was with for eight years. And then it was the first time I'd been single. So I'd been in an eight-year relationship and then a two-year relationship. So 10 years, I was in two relationships, right? So coming out of that and actually being single, I was petrified because I was like, I don't actually know how to date. I don't actually know how to be. Like, I don't know how to be Natasha, just Natasha. All I know is Natasha and fill in the blank. and the unknown was very, very scary because I was like, what if there's guys out there that, that we don't do what I used to do with this partner or we don't listen to this music or we don't get each other the way we do or we can't laugh the way we did or, you know, what if? And, and, and you'd be so scared and, and ruminating the same thoughts. Actually going out there to the unknown, dating, dun, 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 was really freaking scary. 
but you've got to step outside your comfort zone. I had to do that work on myself. I had to, I had a shit ton of self-love work to do and really kind of knowing and stepping into my worth that you can have standards and you can have somebody that respects you. And you can, I mean, this sounds shocking now, but like at the time I truly believed it, like someone that actually kept their word, someone that actually said, this is what I'm going to do and actually done it. Someone says they're going to call you at a certain time or they're meeting you at a certain time or they'll be around your house at a certain time or we're going out for dinner here or got a date night and actually keep to that. It blew my mind. It blew my mind because I was like, wow. Oh, it's going to be shivers talking about it. So, but that was the unknown. That was freaking scary. So of course my mind wanted to stay back and be like, no, let's just stay in the known. Let's just stay in this relationship, even though I'm not happy, even though it's not serving me, even though it's toxic, like even though no, 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 mine goes, but it's safe and it's comfy and it's good. Let's just be here. But if I had, I would never have the most incredible, I have, I have, I have hit, I have won the husband jackpot with my husband, but that never would have happened. I'm not going to give all the credit to him, but that would never have happened if I didn't do the work on myself. I didn't step outside the comfort zone. If I didn't have experience of twats so that I can then go that's not what I want anymore if I didn't do the work on myself to go raise your standards girl where are your standards where are your boundaries what is it that you actually desire and you want because you're saying you want this but yet you're settling for that not making sense okay you got to do the work and that's why this work's so important you know whether it be and one of the so one of the the girls that was uh, done a testimony for me last night my beautiful Claire she said, this doesn't just change your business. This changes your life. And now I get it because I used to talk about that on my social media. Like, I'm not hyping this up. Like, this will change your life because it will change the way you think and do everything. It will change. And what, you know, for you to create change, you need to change your environment. You need to change your, your thinking, your thoughts, right? It's so important. You don't just go, I'm going to change. You need to change things and be in an environment around other badasses that are inside conscious coach that want to do this work, want to change, want to unlock that next level of themselves. No, they don't want to settle. They want more and they're going for more. That will change the game for you anyway. So just what you learn won't just change the bank account, won't just change your business, your clients. It will change you. It will change your relationships. It will change your perspective and outlook. It will change your life. And I don't say that, I don't say that softly. Like I've never said that about a program before, but this freaking will. <laughs> so we start mid-September, six weeks, six weekly calls that we have. You get transformational content every single week um, into your own personal portal. And then you get a podcast. So as soon as you sign up, you get access to this podcast to start these activations right now. And the modality that I use is RRT. And the most I mean, it changed my life. You'll hear about it. I've done a whole video of it inside Conscious Coach of what I went through in 2022. And you'll get it. It's not stuff I talk about on like here or social media. Um, it's very personal stuff of what I was going through, but I share about it in Conscious Coach. So being able to teach this modality and it's called rapid resolution therapy for a reason. It's rapid. It, you know, it's very, very quick. It's, it's incredible how we're able to bypass logic conscious coach uh, conscious coach your conscious mind in order for you to to really rewire the unconscious because this is where the where the word came from conscious it's time to get conscious it's time to make the unconscious conscious because then all the things that are going on in the the kind of the behind the scenes under the surface we want to take out make them conscious so we can actually change them and that is what we do inside conscious coach and if this speaks to you and you're like absolutely this is exactly what i need natasha send me a dm with the word coach let's have a chat to make sure we're the right fit for this and i cannot freaking wait so i hope you have enjoyed this episode of the tush talks live show we'll be coming back no we won't be coming back next week it'll be the week after and it will be q a time so send your questions in to help at natashaclarkcoaching.com or DM my team over here on Facebook, Team NCC. Send in your questions and then we'll pick the ones that we're going to answer. Mwah. Hope you go and have the most incredible week. And don't forget, you're a freaking badass.